yo, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source, your source for celeb news. Now, today we have, hey, yo, baby, look, you know what we got today, man. Like, I don't even need to tell you, man. You you, you know what we talking about today, man. Yeah, you know I man. And it's all that you probably want to hear about. So, you know what I'm saying? We're going we gonna, to we gonna get to that, man. Also, we're going to talk a little bit about, um, uh, um, you know, folks shading finesse two times and, and potentially the Prince family. I don't really know. You know what I mean? Um, I don't, I don't, I don't know. Let's, let's look, let's get, let's get right to it, man. You know what I'm saying? If this is your first time to the channel, be sure to hit that like button and the whole nine yards. Um, uh, if, if this is your, what's, what am I supposed to be saying? If this is your first time to the channel, be sure to hit that like button, hit that notification bell. Um, if you ain't already uh, notified, uh, of the channel, you know what I'm saying? Whenever it drops, it hit that sub button, man. You know what I'm saying? It's going to help us out, man. Anyway, let's get right to it, man. You know what I mean? Today we speaking on honeycomb brazy. You like F all that, man. I want to hear about Diddy. Look, 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 so, so you don't want to hear about uh, the Honeycomb Brazy and Finesse Two Time? <laughs> you like, is Diddy involved in that? No, no, but, but look, Honeycomb made a strong message. Dare I say, last message to bruh. You like, uh, so what role does Diddy have? Look, I'm going to get to Diddy, man. Like, I'm going to get to Diddy. Brazy was not loving the welcome he got. Honeycomb Brazy did not love the welcome he got when he came home from the slammer. The joint did not have fireworks going off for him. So, he went off. You like Diddy? Yes, he did. You like no, no, no. I want to hear about Diddy. No, oh, oh. So you don't want to hear about Honeycomb Brazy saying this? Take a listen. Real. Wait. I'm trying to see what an airplane is. They ain't no plane for Brazy. They let a plane for a rat. And they let a plane for Brazy. No, they let a private jet for this red ass. And what the fuck my jet at? <laughs> man, I don't see a goddamn thing. You hear me? Straight Alabama shit, what I see, man. I see Alabama shit. I don't see nothing else right now. What in the fuck going on? Y'all to land a plane with this big red dyke built ass, sis ass, nigga, on more your ass. More your ass like booty house, boy. You know that, daughter. I'm back. So you convert over more of them. ain't none of that shit gonna stop what's going on. Listen, <laughs> like you convert over more of when I come home. Everybody trying to get cool, Rallo. They think Rallo gonna say the industry. This what's going on, man. Listen, why God, why God, I don't say I'm like that for real. So I ain't hear nothing about finesse two times. I heard Rallo's name being mentioned, and I heard there was tension between him and finesse two times. But I thought that that tension was dead. You know what I'm saying? Then he, then he said, what he say? Then he said, he said. Y'all landed a plane for this big rat dyke built ninja. <laughs> Black ad ninja. I'm on your head. I'm on your head like booty head boy. <laughs> he said, it's like you converting over to Muslim. Why ain't none of that ish gonna stop what's going on? Um, close quote. And 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 as far as I understand, both uh both two artists have mentioned converting to Islam, you know what I'm saying? Finesse and Rallo, right? And uh and well, I guess NLE Chop is in the cut too, right? Look, he mentioned, um, but look, Honeycomb mentioned Rollo's name, but didn't mention Finesse. But he said, he said, what you gonna call it, built that ninja. Look, and Rollo ain't built like that. Look, 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 never mind all that. Why don't everybody just make good music and not carry on with behaviors that can land them back in the slammer? I think that would be the wisest thing. You like, can we get to Diddy? Okay, fine. Uh, and finally, there's a lot, there's a lot with this story, okay? So I could technically do this right now. Listen, 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 okay? But first of all, what's your fascination with Diddy being brought down, man? Did this man hurt you personally? I don't think he hurt you personally, man. Like, why you want to hear so bad about, about bruh being brought down? Why you want to hear so bad about the secret investigation being launched against bruh? You like secret investigation? Yeah, 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 yeah. But shh, shh, shh. Don't say it so loud. Because it's a secret. Never speak on the criminal investigation. Listen, TMZ posted. Shh, shh. I'm trying to tell you. TMZ posted. Well, let me see what they post. They post. This is what TMZ posted. You listening? Are you listening? Uh, TMZ posted this. They said, they said, uh, bruh is the subject of a secret NYPD investigation. And although it's not, uh, although it's unclear, um, they said that uh, Cassie Ventura made a criminal complaint and there's strong evidence that involves assault of a, you know what I'm saying, of a sexual nature. You know what I mean? Now, this is what was stated. It was stated according to TMZ that law enforcement sources told TMZ that there's an open case at NYPD with the name Sean Combs. We're told it's an active case, but the case file has been, quote unquote, locked. Essentially meaning it's a sensitive case where access is restricted, okay? 
Um, also, uh, they said that they, TMZ said that they inquired about the case to NYPD and they responded with the statement. The NYPD takes this kind of assault and these violation cases extremely seriously and urges anyone who's been a victim to file a police report so we can perform a comprehensive investigation and offer support and services to the survivors. Um, TMZ said they contacted other law enforcement in um, numerous jurisdictions uh, that was mentioned in Cassie's complaint uh, in Miami, Beverly Hills, Los Angeles, and at every juncture they got the same reply. No police report has been filed as it pertains to Cassie or Diddy and no investigation has been launched. Okay. Uh, they said they can t- uh, contact the other law enforcement in various jurisdictions. And, um, oh my bad. Uh, they said that, uh, Beverly Hills cops were called after a breakup argument of some sort back in 2016 between Diddy and, and, uh, Shorty. A domestic incident reported was taken, but no legal action was followed. Um, they said that, uh, Shorty claimed everything from being violent violated assault battery even human human trafficking apparently and um that bruh forced her to you know i'm saying have copulation copulation or carnal knowledge with male prostitute across state lines but that um could rise to you know i'm saying that that could lead to like a federal crime and they check uh federal law enforcement sources including u.s attorney's office in the southern district of new york as well as fbi you know i'm saying but they don't got no information um, now they said that Diddy's lawyer came out and uh, vehem- vehemently denied these uh, the, the the accusations in this lawsuit, as he as his lawyer should. You know what I'm saying? Now this is all coming one day after um, Cassie Puff's ex filed a federal lawsuit alleging that your boy Puff violated that is the dreaded R word violated trafficked both in a sexual manner and physically abused his ex Cassie you know what I'm saying now Cassie is planning on um, suing your boy Puff to the tune of 30 million bucks now I know what a lot of y'all are thinking why didn't she have charges pressed against bruh when it was happening like while it was happening why wait till the statute of limitations is up and, 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 and you know what I'm saying just come for the papers this has got to be a shakedown you like, I wasn't really thinking that, but it certainly ain't a terrible question. Of course it ain't a terrible question because that was my question. But I kind of had to pull back and think on this for a second. See, to me, right? And I'm just speaking from an observational step. Like, like, first of all, it seems like there's a lot of forces that are all converging on bruh at this very moment. And I find it funny. The situation with the Keefe D. You know what I'm saying? They were saying that, you know what I mean? They're trying to link him to the hit on bro, on, on, on Pac. You know what I mean? Then folks are looking at, thinking about the Biggie situation. You know what I'm saying? Then Warner Brothers came out the cut like, look, look. You know what I'm saying? The situation with the Joker. Then he came back out with the Batman. Now Cassie coming out. A lot of this is all happening very, very, like, at an odd moment. You see what I'm saying? Um... But look, look, I had to, I had to think about it, think, think about thinking about this from an observational standpoint. You know what I'm saying? It seems like this is what it seems like to me. Okay. It seems like people that don't know Puff very well and never met him. They got all the jokes on, bro. And it seems like everybody that does know him or met him are low key scared of him. You understand what I'm saying, man? That's the sense that I get. Cause a lot of people that know him, they seem very, very muzzled on dude. Now, the lawsuit is uh, pretty heavy. You know what I'm saying? Uh, l- let me see if I can pull up what the paperwork says. The the paperwork says, let me let me let me see if I can pull it. I know I could now. Let me see if I can get the Oh, wait, wait, wait. Didn't I take a picture of it? I think I did. I I, I let me hold on, hold on. I could get the I right, look. Paperwork says when mi- uh, Mr. Combs um uh, Mr. Combs and endured over a decade of his violent behavior and uh, disturbed demands. For Miss Ventura, the quote-unquote dark times were those she spent trapped by Mr. Combs in a cycle of abuse, violence, and um, you know trafficking. An- among other violent and unlawful acts, Mr. Combs quote-unquote violated Miss Ventura in her own home after she tried to leave him. Often punched, beat, kicked, stomped on Miss Ventura, resulting in bruises, burst lit, black eyes, bleeding. Uh, blew up a man's car after he learned that he was romantically involved um, or interested in with uh, in Miss Ventura forced Miss Ventura to engage in certain acts with male sex workers while masturbating and filming the encounter. Ran out of his apartment with a firearm in pursuit of a rival industry executive um, whom he learned was nearby. Demanded that Miss Ventura uh, to carry his uh, firearm in her purse just to make her just to make her 
just to make her uncomfortable and demonstrate how dangerous he is. And intro that sounds like this, like they tried to add that interpretation on that. I don't know. Uh, introduced Ms. Ventura to a lifestyle of excessive alcohol and um, substance abuse and required her to procure illicit uh, prescriptions to satisfy his own addictions. The way that's written, that sounds so biased. It's not even funny. I'm just saying what it sounds like to me. The way it's written. I think like a lawyer should have done a better job at writing that out. But whatever. Who's like, maybe that worked. That's what works in the court. I just feel like I wouldn't have said to make her feel like. To make her feel. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, like, am I making sense? I wouldn't have said, no, my bad. Like, not, not to really hop on this, but I don't know if I would have said, um, uh, uh, demanded that to carry the firearm just to make her uncomfortable and demonstrate how dangerous he unless he like said that like i'm gonna show you how dangerous i am carry my fire on like then that should have been you know what i'm saying introduced her to a lifestyle of excessive alcohol and substance abuse and require introduced her you know what i'm saying like so you drinking with me now i introduced you like i feel like you you trying to bias the situation anyway my bad um uh uh where we at over here I know I had something over. I look, 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 look. That's what the paperwork said. Then she added, Puff entered her house, violated, you know what I'm saying, violated her again. Um, and that occurred to her after he ended, you know, they ended their relationship. Okay? This is what she posted after that. She said, quote, and, I, and please, please, um, when I read these things or when I'm looking at these things, I'm trying to be as unbiased as possible. I ain't trying to jump on nobody's side because all, you know, what I'm saying all of this is alleged. They are, this is what they're trying to get the man for. I'm not saying he did it. I'm not saying he didn't do it because I wasn't there and you wasn't there. So at this point, it's just this person is accusing that person and that person is denying that it, da, 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 da. you know what I'm saying? Someone here is the victim. I'm just throwing that out there. And one person is saying, I'm the victim. And the person, the, 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 you know, and this is the aggressor. The, and the alleged aggressor is saying, no, I'm, they're trying to shake me down. I am not the aggressor. So this is what we got. He say, she say at this point. Cassie posted this. She said, after years in silence and darkness, I am finally, re and, 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 and let me just, let, let me finish reading the statement. You got to finish reading the statement before you run your mouth, bro. After years in silence and darkness, I am finally ready to tell my story and speak up on behalf of myself and for the benefit of other women who face violence and abuse in their relationships. Close quote. Um, so, I mean, I'm not saying she's lying. I'm not saying she's telling the truth. I'm saying I'm just reading out what she said. And we're just saying his lawyer states that is not true. Okay, period. That's all that it is. The reason why we got to say that is because people tend to to lie quite frankly um sometimes and and 100 percent of victims have lied about things in the past so that does not automatically exonerate them when they're talking about traumatic events that may have truthfully happened to them you know what i'm saying because people lie now we gotta go and look for evidence for so don't throw out the word victim blaming we're not victim blaming. We just got to say we don't have all the evidence. So we cannot take anybody's word at face value. That's just the way the world works. People lie. You know what I'm saying? Period. Anyway, um, uh, bruh's legal team came back with the quickness talking about Cassie was trying to shake your boy down for 30 M's and went forward with false allegations when he ain't go for being shook down for the 30 M's. Okay. Now, it's important to note. It's important to note. Cassie, what's my time looking like? Let me see what my time looks like. Cassie and Diddy dated on and off between 2005 and 2016, and their relationship began when she was 19, she was a 19-year-old bad boy artist. Um, it is at this point. I need to highlight this. We got a platform. We have to take full advantage. We don't know how long this is gonna last. Okay? So we taking full advantage, okay? I want to make a very important point. Joe Budden mentioned this when he was having a back and forth with thing. Okay. When you're over 30 years old and you're trying to link up with 18, I'm, I'm, I don't, I'm not saying did he did this or not. I'm just talking about it just independently at this point. When you're over 30 years old and you're trying to link up with 18 year old, 19 or 20 year olds. Yes, they are old enough to go to war, but technically they just got out of high school. They ain't even start start yet. You see what I'm saying? I feel that's on some predator type ish. You know what I mean? Some predator type vibe. When you're over 30 years old, psychologically, it's a slaughter. Okay? No 18, 19, 20 year old can stand against no rich 
30 year old Harvey Weinstein behaving ad ninja. You know what I'm saying? And, I, and, and, and I'm not saying he did it. I'm just saying in general, because there's a lot of artists that are rich and over 30 and they're trying to link up with 18, 19, 20 year olds because they know it's a psychological slaughter. And I'm speaking independently from the Cassie and Puff situation. I'm just throwing it out there since it's in my train of thought. I'm a, I'm, let me throw this. If you're 18, 19, 20 year old, you listening to this. My little sister's out here. 18, 19, 20 year old. It's incredibly rare, damn near non-existent for a 30 year old plus man to be psychologically matched with someone your age. I know the age old argument, women mature faster than men. But even if we grant that as a viable argument, they don't psychologically mature damn near 10 years, 10 years, like 10 years in advance. You know what I'm saying? That's sad. Okay. I spoke with this dude. This man was in his fifties. He told me a woman under 24 can be trained to do whatever he wants them to do because they don't have enough experience yet. You see what I'm saying? If you don't have enough experience, you ain't psychologically mature to handle people that, you know what I mean? There might be some, some people that are psychologically immature, but you know what I mean? If you're over 35 and your maturity level is that of an 18, 19 year old, that's damn, that's sad. You, you follow what I'm saying, man? 18 to 21, be leery of the aims of a 35 plus year old person. They're just trying to take advantage of you. You know what I'm saying? And all my 35, 40 year olds, you should be a damn shamed of yourself looking to link up with a damn teenager with your heat vision, trying to camouflage your older age, trying to get the young 19 year old to your private parts like Arnold trying to get to the chopper. You know what I'm saying? Your camouflage heat vision. I mean, come on now, predator. Anyway, look, listen, listen. You like, bro. This puffy and Cassie story, this secret investigation information is too much. We need a break. Oh, you mean like shout outs? Oh, yeah, let's look, 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 look. let's get to the shout outs because there's even more for your boy. You like more? Yeah, man. But look, let me do the shout outs real quick. I ain't gonna be before you long. You like that's lies. Hey, look, man, you know what I'm saying? Don't, don't like, you know, like, really listen. Um, uh, shout out to Well Connected. My man said the message about Snoop yesterday, not smoking. That message was for me. You know, that's because we gave a message yesterday. He said that message was for me. I've been struggling for a long minute now. Um, throw one up for me. Yo, man, all, all, all of y'all in the comment section, man. You know what I'm saying? And all our viewers, man. Those of y'all that be praying. You know what I mean? Well connected needs your prayers. Real talk. Because he wants to quit substance abuse. You know what I'm saying? He said he's been struggling. That means he don't, he don't, he don't love. And people sometimes, we are like a lot of us are addicted to various vices that we don't love. We all need prayer. But well connected ass. You know what I'm saying? So may, may well connected in the name of Jesus. You know what I'm saying? Please, Lord. Please. Help this man um, get off of any substances that might be tying him down because he don't really want to deal with that in Jesus name. Those are y'all that are with me. Look, 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 look. We don't got to make long prayers. It could be a short prayer, although you want to be as detailed as possible. You know what I'm saying? Your prayer could be as short as heaven in, hell out, amen. But you know what I'm saying? You want to cultivate a relationship. Listen, Ebenezer said um, he takes too long to get to the point. Listen, man. We take long so we can weed out people with short attention spans. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we don't care for like you got a short attention span. This ain't for you. You know what I mean? Like so, go on about your business, okay? Uh, Ty Tysco said, not gonna lie. Um, I think this video. I don't know what video that is. Oh, it must have been yesterday's video. Um, was the funniest video. Celeb, you ain't slick. I know you was talking about sexy red trash ad with Spotify and no smoking for a month challenge accepted. That's what I'm talking about, man. If you're trying to, you know what I mean? If you're trying to challenge yourself, man, try not to do it for a month, man. That might, you know what I'm saying? But um, I wasn't really talking about, I wasn't talking about Sexy Red. Just to be clear, I wasn't talking about Sexy Red. But she be offbeat. Um, uh, Coop, my man Coop said, uh, hey, yo, Keith, what's the dog's name so we can shout the puppy out? What it do, fam? And subs. All be blessed and safe. Um, I look cool. I said his name. I said his name yesterday in the video. But if you missed it, you owe us another view. So you gotta go back and listen because I said his name. You know what I'm saying? I called him by his name. Uh, Donald Williams said, uh, so shout out to you, Coop. Donald Williams said, um, because the way you talk and tell the stories is the reason I watch. I love your style. Keep doing what you're doing. Yo, I appreciate that, man. You know what I'm saying? Real talk. Um, that does mean a lot. Um, is that my last shout out? I think that might have been my last shout out. Yeah, I love you, Donald Williams. You know what I'm saying? Um, uh, didn't I have another one? Nicole Tim. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was Nicole Tim. She said, Celeb, my man and I used to watch you every morning. He gone now. What you mean gone like that? Or like he left? She said, it was his choice. 
uh, I'm assuming like left. She said it's his choice, but some of my actions caused it. Oh, look at this woman taking accountability. Shout out to you. Real talk. I love that. She said, um, I feel so empty now, but when I watch your uploads, I feel close to him, even for a short time. Oh, maybe she meant gone, gone. Like, you know, I think she meant gone, gone. She said, I feel so empty now. Yeah, yeah, man. Um, prayers up for you too, man. I, I feel for you, man. And um, I hope you find um, someone that, look, you you had the person for the time you were supposed to have had them. You know what I'm saying? And the most high deems it, um, you know what I'm saying, for that person to have had an effect in your life. And now, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's, um, it's a different chapter. You know what I mean? It's a different chapter now. You know what I mean? Shout out to you, man. Prayers up for you. Uh, and lastly, STR Real. STR Real said, um, the person talking about your content would be better if you cut the corny jokes and talking about uh, they don't know what you what they're talking about. But uh, that's literally one of the reasons I listen to the channel because you're animated as hell. <laughs> Am I? I don't think so. No, no, no. I know. Listen, um, uh, Mark Lewis, shout out to you. My man said, don't stop. Um, I, la, 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 last, last, last shout out. I promise. I promise. I, I got it. I got it. I love y'all. IET said, real talk. I watch you as well when I put on my makeup. Word? That's what I'm talking about. She said, she said, the timing is perfect. When you're not there, celeb, I get mad. Like, how am I going to hook up my eyebrows now? Then my eyebrows come out crooked and I'm, a, and I'm a lady. Some people think I'm a guy from my account, but I'm definitely a woman married with a kid. Listen, IET. You know what I'm Listen, whenever y'all see a woman with jacked up eyebrows, you could just go on and, and be like, oh, you must have missed celeb this morning. You know what I'm saying? The women with the bad eyebrows are the ones that haven't tuned into celeb. They missed it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, shout out to you, man. I love you, man. All right, look, 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 look. Let's get right back to it. Wrap this bad boy up. Oh, 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 oh. Let me, let me, let me, let me. Should I show this picture? Um, I'm going to show you this picture. And I don't like this picture. But look, they said, why they do Jada Kiss like this? I said, what the hell? Look at this damn picture. Look at what this picture. Why they do my boy Jada like this? That man is a legend. You know what I'm saying? A hip hop legend, man. Why they do the man like that? Anyway, my bad. Let's get, let's get right back to it. Wrap this bad boy up. Listen. Um, uh, where we at over here? Where we at? Uh, <laughs> now, now, one of the things mentioned in the lawsuit with uh, between Puffy and Cassie, um, stated that, or, or rather, alleges that Puff blew up Kid Cudi's car after threatening to do exactly that after um Cassie started dating Kid Cudi. <laughs> this is after alleging alleging that your boy <laughs> beat and violated sis and beat off himself when he paid these male prostitutes to have carnal knowledge with her. You like you joking, right? Do I look like I'm joking? Listen, listen. After all that, um, the car blew up in Cuddy's driveway. You like, yo, this is insane, man. They go look, they're gonna have to have a surviving whatchamacallit show. I, I know, and I feel like the show would have to be seasonal. Cause there's always somebody new that's doing this kind of insanity. Here's what's really crazy. And I'm not saying he did it, allegedly. Here's what's really crazy though. Kid Cuddy's spokeswoman confirmed Ventura's account, Cassie's account, stating this is all true. Meaning, it is true that Kid Cuddy's car was blown up in his driveway from bruh. Right? That your boy Puff triangulated on Suge Knight's position, got every stick he could find. That's right, he ran through the woods. And the joint reads like this is what it reads. It says, let me see if I can find it. I know I had to post it here somewhere, man. It says, it says, come on, can you find it? Please tell me you can find it. It says, um, um, oh man, I, I know I have it here. But I mean it's like the story keeps going on. So wait, 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 I'm gonna pull it up, man. I, well, well, hurry up and get it now. I'm getting it. I'm getting it. Listen, the joint goes like this. It says, part of the lawsuit where Cassie claimed Diddy got the drop on shit. This is what academics posted. Um, got the drop on Suge Knight's location at a diner and grabbed every gun in his crib and ran out the door with his ninjas to pull up on Suge. Tells you all you need to know. This whole time I thought Suge had Diddy shook. This lawsuit says different. Diddy was fiending to catch a body. This is what the lawsuit states. It says 61. What started as a whirlwind of celebrity meetings and drug and alcohol fueled parties, however, quickly turned frightening and violent. Miss Ventura was also exposed to intense violence that pervaded Mr. Combs' rise to fame. For example, on one occasion when Mr. Combs and Miss Ventura were using drugs together in his home, one of his security staff barged in and announced that Suge Knight, a longtime rival of Mr. Combs, was spotted at Mel's Drive and Diner in Los Angeles. Mr. Combs began to get dressed, retrieved multiple guns from a safe, and ran out of his home to where he believed Mr. Knight was dining. Miss Ventura became terrified and began to cry. On at least two occasions, Mr. Combs demanded that Miss Ventura hold. So this is a separate thing now. 
Two occasions, he demanded that Miss Ventura hold Mr. Combs' gun in her purse. Miss Ventura had no familiarity with guns and was petrified that the firearm would accidentally go off in her purse. There was no clear reason why Mr. Combs required her to hold his guns, except to reinforce to his young girlfriend that he was violent, powerful, and dangerous. That's what the joint reads. You know what I'm saying? You see, this probably explains why Kanye has responded by saying, uh, oh wait, I look. I look, I look, I look, I look. NYPD has released a statement on Diddy. Okay. Um, right now it's 324. I'm reporting this now. Okay. NYPD has released a statement. Their statement says, let me see if I can get it. It says, yesterday. <laughs> yesterday. Wow. Okay. It says, yesterday, a member of NYPD's public information office erroneously told a reporter about an apparent existence of an active case file containing the name Sean Combs. There is no such investigation at present. Further, the release of such information is not consistent with the internal policies of the Office of the Deputy Commissioner of Public Information. The NYPD always treats allegations of sexual, uh, uh, you know what I'm saying, of, of assault or violations extremely seriously and urges anyone who has been a victim of uh, to file a police report so that support and services can be offered to survivors and a comprehensive investigation, uh, investigation, investigation can be um, conducted. Wow. 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 Okay. So that's so that's what so basically NYPD is saying none of that stuff is true. Let me go to the comments. Ah, okay. Comments this is how the comments read. One person said the check cleared. The check cleared. You see what they're trying to say? The check cleared. Okay. Um here's another comment. Um they never give a cuff. This is what a song called Life Podcast says. They never give a cuff about what blogs think. They know or don't know. Wait, wait, wait. They never give a given a cuff about what blogs think they know or don't know. So why now? That's fishy. Somebody else said, it's not a rumor though. Cassie has literally filed a lawsuit. I don't know if a lawsuit is different from an active case file. I don't know. I don't know if that's the same thing. Uh, somebody else said, um, Somebody else said, oh, so that a song called Life Pocket said, why would police respond to rumors of any kind? Other folks is like word. Somebody else said, Black Betty Boop said, yeah, because he paying. Um, somebody else, Ashley says, we don't trust NYPD. And since when they make statements to clarify whether or not there are pending investigations. You know, they're going to make a statement if it can call uh, uh, if it'll cost them. Uh, um, this is real, real super hairy. So let me tell you what, uh, um, 50 Cent has to say. He provided his reactions to the allegations. 50 Cent said, Damn, brother love. Damn, love. I mean, he goes, Damn, brother love. Brother love, brother love. You out here looking crazy as a morpher. As a morpher. <laughs> LML. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is this is nuts, man. This is nuts. This is nuts. There's a lot going on, man. So I don't know. I don't know what any of this means. Um, it just means that there was there's definitely a lawsuit for the 30 million. The NYPD secret investigation that none of us are supposed to know about. Well, the secret was let out, but then it was recanted, so nobody knows for sure. You know what I'm saying? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below, man. What you think about all of this, man? This insanity, man. You know what I mean? We don't want to make these videos long, but unfortunately, there's a lot that's going on, and we want to make sure you get all the information that you need to get, man. To you know, what I mean, just to just to consider and have uh, discussions about around the water cooler, man. You know what I mean? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Be sure to like, be sure to subscribe. Thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source, your source for celeb news.